Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. In the last class, we have seen uh, what is an expression transformation, how to do about and error, uh, out how to use those functions within the expression transformation. So let's see uh, one more transformation today. So uh, basically, you will have uh, a normally a requirement like you have a source. You don't want to take all the records from the source to the target. You want to filter some of the records uh, which are going from source to target. So suppose 100 records are going based on some criteria you want uh, to send less than 100 into the target. So how do you do that? Also you sometimes you may want to uh, because source and target is mandatory in Informatica uh, you sometimes don't want to probably send any record to the target you simply want to uh, totally restrict there could be some scenarios where you want to uh, send zero records to the target I will explain you uh, how why you will do that so for these two scenarios filter transformation would help so if you put a filter here and put an appropriate condition you can uh, do you can filter out all the records or you can uh, only filter few records based on the criteria. So let's see how to do that in info. So I'm creating a mapping m employees FIL for filter, filter basically. Uh, so I'm going to pull my employee source and employees target as uh, earlier and I'll put one filter transformation here. It starts with FIL underscore uh, based on uh, salary, I want to filter few records. So filter uh, high salary records. So I want to only have uh, less than $10,000 per annum salary records in my target table. I don't want all the records. So, so simply create a filter transformation and connect uh, from, so auto link from or basically you can select all of these and connect. So where do we specify now? Uh, I want to have only uh, records with uh, greater than 10,000, uh, less than $10,000 salary. So I can do that in the filter transformation. So by default, uh, the filter condition is true. Uh, this is nothing but an expression editor. So we can use uh, whatever we had in the expression transformation. So we can use all kinds of functions here. So for now, uh, the by default, the condition is true, which means all the records will go to the target. Nothing it will get filtered out. So I'll say salary less than 10,000. Only these records will flow to the target now. So let me check for these condition, how many records are there in the database. So I'll say select star from HR dot employees where salary is greater than 10,000, less than 10,000. So you can see there are 88 records here. Uh, so I'm expecting 88 records to go into the target from this transformation. So let's see, I'm creating a workflow for this and within that a session. So I'm creating the session like earlier and uh, I'm giving the truncate table option so that it only loads uh, these records, it truncates the earlier records. So let me uh, run this session now and see how many records will get loaded. So we can see here only 88 records got loaded out of 107. So let's see uh, if any records are there in the target table with less than 10,000. So all 88 are with less than 10,000. We see the count. Let's see with greater than 10,000 any records are there. There shouldn't be anything. So yeah, there is there are no records. So basically what we have done is we have filtered all the records which are greater than or equal to 10,000 and only populated which are uh, less than uh, 10,000. So now let's see one more interesting variation of uh, the filter transformation. Uh, so suppose you, so like earlier I've showed you uh, that you may have a requirement to load zero records to the target. Just to see how the application of this is, how Informatica is performing till source qualifier. Suppose uh, this is a very simple scenario we are talking about. You can have a scenario like this source and uh, you can have n number of transformations 
T1, T2, T3 and then you can have a target. So you have a performance bottleneck in your uh, mapping somewhere but you don't know exactly where it is. So what you can do is you can put a filter transformation with a uh, for filter transformation with a false condition will give zero records it, it will give zero records after this so by putting this in an appropriate place you can first put here and see that is basically you are stopping the flow here if you put the filter transformation here with false condition nothing no records will flow after this because uh, it will give zero records outside so you can see the performance of the session mapping till here then you can put here and you can see the performance still here and then you can put here and you can see the performance still here so by moving the filter transformation with a false condition to various different places you can uh, it is a logical stop uh, you have the filter transformation with a false condition is like a logical stop there are no records flowing out of it so you by moving that to an appropriate place in your uh, uh, mapping you can actually see the performance of your mapping uh, part of your mapping till wherever you want so let's see how to do that so earlier I've given uh, high salary uh, records filter high salary records now I'm simply going to put here false that means don't send any records to the target if I do this what is going to happen is zero records will flow to the target so you can actually apply use this filter transformation with a false condition anywhere in the mapping not need need not be necessarily just before the target like I just explained now so 107 records got read but zero records got loaded because of the filter with the false condition so you can use this uh, filter with a false condition anywhere in your mapping if uh, mapping is more complex than this we'll see later classes more complex mappings so you can put a logical stop uh, that is you can stop the flow of records uh, here and by moving this to an appropriate place you can see what is the performance till that point in the mapping uh, and then you can uh, get some clue about which uh, transformation is causing the bottleneck for your mapping. So we'll see one more transformation in the next class. Thank you.